from the beach in Egypt on the Gulf of Aqaba, knowing that Moses led the great multitude across the Red Sea at this exact spot that Mount Sinai lay beyond that distant shore. The area at the foot of the mountain, we can see a large fence and a guard house, which was erected immediately after Ron Wyatt showed this site to a Saudi archaeologist in 1985. This sign by the guard house states that this is an archaeological site passed by royal decree and that it is unlawful to trespass subject to penalty. And as we pan to the left, here we can see where the fence ends on the other side. Here we have a better view of the blackened peak. We see the fence which follows along the bounds set by Moses and just beyond that fence is part of the camp of the Israelites. I will stand before thee there upon the rock in Horeb and thou shalt smite the rock and there shall come water out of it that the people may drink. And Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel, with evidence that large streams of water flowed from it. The rocks still display the erosion pattern of tremendous amounts of water descending from this rock. we continue toward the Red Sea. And just up ahead, we can barely see the Gulf of Aqaba and across the sea we can see the large beach area on the Egyptian side thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians and Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore.